This video is brought to you by Yamaha Electronics and their Avintage line of AV receivers, a dramatic inspired leap forward in audio video component design. Hey, I'm Andrew Gash for Audioholics. Otterbox was late in releasing their Armor Series cases for the iPhone and Galaxy S3. But as they say, better late than never. Now I'm gonna start off this review with all the reasons why you wouldn't want to get this case. Now, here's why. If you get this case without understanding it, then you're gonna be disappointed. I mean, you just are. So let me give you some examples of why this case might not be for you. Number one, you care about your phone's aesthetics. If the Autobox armor is anything, eye candy is about as far away from the description as you're likely to find. It's not that the case is ugly, but ergonomic or sexy isn't part of the description. Not part of the design goal as far as we can tell. Now, by the time you wrap your phone in this case, you're going to feel as if you've stepped back in time and are calling somebody on an early 2000s cellular phone with an iCAD battery and wall charger. Not that those weren't awesome times, but seriously. Which brings us to our second reason why you might not want to get an OtterBox armor case. Number two, carrying a brick around in your pocket isn't your idea of fun. Maybe it is, actually, but if it isn't, look, the armor is just <laughs> big and heavy. And if you were somehow hoping that OtterBox had come up with an ultra-protective case that doesn't weigh a ton, well, then you'd be mistaken. If you want a case that's lightweight and agile, then one that you can easily slip into your back pocket, then this isn't it. Check out some of OtterBox's other products. Number three, you want to spend under $50 to protect your phone. Nope. Not going to happen. The OtterBox Armor case for the Galaxy S3 or iPhone 4, 4S, and 5 runs around $100. Number four, you want to be able to make and receive calls with crystal clear audio from the onboard speaker and microphone. Listen, if there's one thing that I've learned, it's that cell phones are lowering my expectations for what sounds good in a call. But wrap your phone in this case, and you're entering what we lovingly refer to around here as the underwater zone. You're now speaking through membranes and waterproof seals that will make your phone sound much quieter and muffled to the person on the other side, unless you use a Bluetooth headset or accessory. Finally, the fifth and final reason why you may not want the armor case is if you need to wear your phone on your belt or otherwise require some sort of holster because the armor, surprisingly, doesn't have one. Now, that is not to say that all of you are out of luck. If you still really do require some way to hold it, you can buy their optional carrying case. Now, during street testing of this, we found that it was a little bit too cumbersome and people just stared. So, now that we've warned off consumers for whom this may not be the best solution, the rest of you need to listen up because we have another list. You might want an OtterBox armor case if you want the most, or at least uh, one of the most, rugged cases available on the market. We've used a lot of cases, and many of them look tough and even handle drops and falls. But this case is for the guy who thinks it's a good idea to use his phone on an aluminum extension ladder while carrying a roll of 12 through cable on his shoulder. I know this guy, and he's gone through like six cases already in the past three years. In fact, after this video, I'm going to be giving this case to him. Look, man, dude, hold on. Don't worry. It's coming. Don't touch that. Hey, just, it's, just let me finish the review. Oh my gosh, your phone's dead. Hey, you may also want an OtterBox armor case if you're prone to being around a lot of water. The new armor case can last submerged to a depth of over six feet for a full 30 minutes. So to test it, I sat on the bottom of my pool and played Angry Birds. Okay, actually, I wasn't that brave, nor did I have enough breath or that amount of no life. Uh, but seriously, the OtterBox warranty doesn't extend past the case. However, it's good to know that I could submerge it if I wanted to. You might also want an OtterBox armor case if you've ever set your phone on top of your car and driven away. Yes, I see that hand. I know what you told your neighbors and your friends, that your phone was broken while you were saving the cat from the burning building. But in all seriousness, you just forgot to get the phone off your car and you saw it fly onto the highway behind you and get run over by several vehicles. You could have used Find My iPhone to find it, in which case it would have told you it's here, 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 I'm sorry. But if you had this case on it, it would have given you just one blue dot because it would have been okay, or at least we hope it would have been. True story, by the way, my father did that. With the armor case, you've got a crush rating of two tons. It'll take some hits and protect your phone. 
You might also want an OtterBox armor case if you work in a commercial environment where there's tons of dust, like a construction job site or a manufacturing plant, because your armor will keep the dust and debris out and not just some of it. Now, OtterBox says that this is the toughest case ever built. It is certainly the toughest case that they've built. As far as we can tell, your phone is going to be about as safe as it can possibly be, at least until they perfect the formula for rubberized glass. Yes, your phone will be safe. Safe and very big. All right, guys, well, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, hit that like button in YouTube and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more awesome videos. And while you're online, find us on Twitter at Audioholics Live and look us up on Facebook at facebook.com slash audioholics. Now, here's our question of the week. Do you... Yeah, you know what? Forget the question of the week. We do it every week. Let's have some fun. You know, according to OtterBox, this case can withstand having cement dropped on it from 10 feet. Let's try that now, shall we? Drop that down. Just happened to have some cement right here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Are we done? What do you No, 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 no. We're not done yet, but almost. Look, Clint, I'm about to do some really cool tests with this new OtterBox case. Here we go. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Whew. <laughs> awesome! What test was that? Well, according to OtterBox, the case can withstand a drop from cement, dropping cement 10 feet onto the phone. No, 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 no. What do you know? It can handle the case being dropped 10 feet on the cement. That's a, that's a completely different thing, dude. <laughs> Whose phone was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Whose phone, Whose phone was it? Whose phone? Um, it Whose was, phone was it? It was... Whose phone was it? Uh, it was. You hear that? It was. Um, it was. Uh, Whose phone it was, was it? it was yours.